Archer, BigLines.com. Uh, I'm staying up here in the beautiful Lingen Alps in northern Norway. Staying with uh, the good folks at Lingen Lodge. Um, you should definitely check it out, LingenLodge.com. Uh, it's one of the most authentic ski experiences out there, I think. I just wanted to take a couple minutes and talk about this uh, Dinafit binding. This is the ST which uh, has a DIN of 10 um, and this is actually my first week ever on Dinafits and uh, I can say with beyond beyond a shadow of a doubt this is the best touring binding on the market so kind of talked a little bit about uh, or I'll show you a couple of the of the features but there's two main reasons why this binding is awesome number one is the weight it is the lightest touring binding on the market and uh, it's got the least junk and uh, the second reason is that uh, it's the flattest to the ski so in my opinion uh, you get a better ski experience the closer your foot is to the ski and this binding allows that so for those two reasons alone it's worth worth getting um, obviously uh, there's a little bit of a learning curve stepping into the binding and uh, clicking it up I'm fine found a little bit uh, uh, getting used to uh, knowing when my toes are clipped in um, I've had a, a little bit of uh, trouble getting used to um, when I step into the binding and I'm ready to ski and just knowing that I'm actually secure there it takes a bit of getting used to uh, till you find you kinda know what the binding looks like I can tell already. I've been I've been uh, ski touring here for six days now, and uh, I'm already getting really good at stepping into the binding and knowing when my boots in it. So um, I think that comes over time. Um, one of the main reasons, I guess, why people don't have this binding is because of the boot, and you need the it's called a low tech uh, system, which uh, clips inside your boot. But more and more, there's getting. Uh, getting boots that are really stiff good alpine boots that uh, that uh, will clip into this binding and I really feel that even though this binding is 20 years old it's actually going to take off even more um, especially with the the new TT binding which is uh, uh, has a din of 12 and I'm hoping to get my hands on some of those sometime soon but for now you know this goes up to 10 um, and uh, I haven't had any problems whatsoever so would definitely highly recommend this binding I probably will never tour on another binding like not like this again so I'm really stoked uh, to finally be on it and uh, would definitely recommend it so get out there get a pair and uh, enjoy the better performance and the weightlessness of it alright thanks for checking us out hope you're having a great day and see you on the slopes